My name is Jotham Munene. I am the senior pastor at Sitam Mombasa. But today we are at Sitam Gong, uh, God's habitation. It has been my delight to share the word of God. And uh, basically I want to just give you a little summary of uh, what the message was all about. The message is about party, the party that cannot be stopped. When you think about a party, what comes to mind? For me, a party is uh, one that you go with your friends. A party is the place you want to go to and release yourself to enjoy to the maximum. It's the place you'd rather be than anywhere else. Well, it looks like God had that intention for us when he created us. We started with a great fellowship at the Garden of Eden. And then, unfortunately, something went wrong due to sin. A sin is always the issue. Because of sin, that fellowship was broken. That spending time, the Bible says they used to meet together in the cool of the day, it is no longer or was no longer happening. And a man had no hope. God started reaching out to us. He talked to Noah, he talked to Abraham, he talked to even uh, Moses. And finally, he came to fellowship with us through the sacrificial system at the tabernacle and again at the temple and in these places it is where they celebrated God's presence they used to have feasts with God actually eating and dancing and celebrating it was actually a good time to be in God's presence it tells you that God's intention is for us to have that friendly fellowship with him Jesus says, I no longer call you servants, I call you friends. So that's God's intention. Our reading was taken from Matthew chapter 2, from verse 1 following. Tells of the wise men who come from the east. We don't know where that is. Probably Iran, uh, Persia. Persia is Iran really today. So they came to Israel because they had seen through a sign of a star that they thought is a special star. And they, they knew there's a king who's been born in the land of Israel. And so they went to the capital city, which is Jerusalem. They went to the president. They went to the king. And there they asked, where is this thing that is happening? This new king that's been born. Of course, kings are born in the palace. But they found there was no child being born there. And then the priest came over and said, oh, actually, there is someone who was prophesied in Bethlehem. So Herod tried to... Uh, lie to them. He said, okay, you go find out how the baby is and then let me know so that I can also go and worship. But the scripture tells us actually Herod wanted to kill the king. In fact, when he was outwitted by the Magi and by Joseph and Mary, because the Magi took another route, and then Joseph and Mary eventually fled to Africa, a place called Egypt. So Africa is a special place. Uh, he realized he has, he's in trouble and he's, he killed the, the, the little boys. And, and today we were saying, Herod is no longer with us, but Herod represents Satan. Herod represents sin. Herod represents deception. Herod represents things that remove us away from God. And we are asking, how can we restore that fellowship, that party again? And a few things we need to do. Number one is to hear God's voice. The wise men knew the route God wanted them to take. In your own life, in your own family, in your future endeavors, in your education, uh, ask God. He'll talk to you. Tell him, I want to know the way. And the Lord will guide you. Not through a star this time, but through the Holy Spirit. Secondly, don't share with everybody secrets of your life that God is taking you to somewhere. Share with only very close people. Because if you share with Herod, he's going to try and destroy what you have. Thirdly, be a worshipper of the king, like the wise men. And when you do that, the, this whole party is going to come back. You're going to enjoy moments of worship, moments of prayer. Church is going to be fun. It's no longer going to be duty. You are going to begin to have a vibrant relationship with God. And that is available to all of us. And if you're looking for a place where, with other people who are looking for that vibrant relationship, I invite you to this wonderful church here, Sitam Gong, found actually within the city of Gong. 
And uh, if you are able to join them for the services on Sundays at 9 and at 11.30, you're welcome. They have prayer meetings uh, on Zoom at uh, you know 5 in the morning Wednesday. And on Friday at 6 p.m., they have physical in-person meeting. However, you can also contact them through the social media. Go to their uh, social media platforms. Go to Facebook, Sitam Gong. Uh, the same, Sitam Gong. Look, look them up on Twitter on Instagram, on YouTube. And when you go there, we want you to subscribe. We want you to click the notification button. We want you to also send a message. Uh, let us know that you have interacted with us and we'll be glad to also pray with you, to also minister to you. The senior pastor and the team here and the leadership will be very happy to hear from you. May God bless you. May you have a wonderful week ahead and may the party in your life not be stopped. Thank you.